Today we're going to be assembling the Italian Semivente assault gun as featured in the new book Avanti. As you can see there's quite a simple frame layout here. Over on the left hand side we've got the tracks and the hull. Over on the right hand side we've got the turret and casemate sections for the M1441 and Semivente. Starting assembly we'll begin on the lower hull where we'll attach the tracks to the left and right sides. As you can see both sides are keyed. This will help you to make sure you get the tracks on the right sides or the left sides even. The keys on the tracks are designed to be, have quite a snug fit to the holes so that'll help the models, the tracks sit nicely while the glue dries. make sure it sits nicely on the table and then we can move on to the attaching the upper hull. You want to make sure that you've given the uh, plastic sprue feeds a good clean. Uh, if you haven't that'll stop the pieces sitting together nicely once you've glued them. As you can see I just run a bead of glue on the inside of that or the upper surfaces of that lower hull piece. and then on the rear of the upper hull piece. Next up we'll attach the rear hull. Just run some glue around those surfaces and then you'll, you should even hear a nice little snap as the rear hull piece fits in. It's nice and snug. Next up we'll add the uh, spare wheels onto the back of the engine deck. These have been designed with a gap so that they'll have a nice positive fit on the mounting pieces. They are angled so before you actually attach them make sure you've double checked which way they're going to go on. It's always a good idea to do a dry fit first. Alright, that's the lower hull completely finished. Now we can add the casemate for the Semivente. Once you've clipped these out, it's a good idea to double check that you've cleaned those feeds completely back. You want a nice flat flush surface there. Always dry fit the casemate before gluing it in, just to make sure that you've given it a good clean. As you can see I can run a bead of glue down both sides and then I'm just sort of finessing a bit of glue into the front there. That'll just attach to the uh, underside of the casemate. Then you can see I just slide it in and then push it down. Alright with that on we've only got three pieces left to go. We've got the gun, the hatch and the machine gun. So just put a drop of glue there inside the mantlet, attach the gun, make sure the, the pepper pot looking end is pointing towards the enemy. Then you can attach the hatch, you can either glue that in open or closed. Today I'll just be gluing it in closed. And now to finish off the model we'll add the machine gun. There's a small hole on the top of the casemate there, just put a drop of glue in and attach the machine gun. Like the British Bren gun, this machine gun is fed from the top so you've got the curved magazine up top and then the little mounting bracket pointing down into the tank. There we have it, a finished Semivente assault gun.